الله Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The second act which makes our fast to be void is sexual intercourse. Even the sexual intercourse be with the penetration as little as the tip of the male organ, and even if there has been no ejaculation. The third act which makes our fast to be invalid is stemna, masturbation. If a person who is observing fast perform masturbation, means stemna, his fast becomes void. If semen is discharged from the body of a person involuntarily, his fast does not become void. But it is very important to be mentioned that if a person who indulge in courtship with an intention to allow semen to be discharged from his body, so we will we'll complete his fast and also observe qadha even if semen is not discharged. But it is very clear that courtship, courtship with the discharging of the semen from the body make our fast to be void. Another act, which is number four, and makes our fast to be invalid, is ascribing lies to Allah and His Prophet and the successor of the Holy Prophet of Islam. So, if a person ascribes lies intentionally, it makes his fast to be void. And it does not matter to be verbally or by writing, or by making a sign. Any kind of ascribing could be, could be option for the invalidate of the fasting. Here is important to know that it is recommended precaution that we should avoid to ascribing like to Bibi Fatima to Zahra and the all prophets and their successor. If a person wish to quote something and he is not certain about it or has no authority to quote it, so it's better regarding the obligatory precaution to give a reference of the person who reported it or the reference of the book which it is written in this. But if we quote something and we think that it is true, but after it, after some times, we understand and realize that it was false, so our fast does not become void. If we quote from another person that this person said, something which is falsehood regarding the Holy Prophet of Islam or God or the successor of the Holy Prophet of Islam, it doesn't make our fast to be void. So, it is very important that you yourself ascribe and say something which is not true to the Almighty Allah or Holy Prophet of Islam or his successors. The act number five, which makes our fast to be invalid, is letting dust reach our throat. If a thick dust reach our throat intentionally, it makes our fast to be invalid and void. And it does not matter whether it is a halal dust or it is a haram. But if the dust is very thin or 
it is considered a thin dose, so our fast will not be invalidated. One of the things that many smoking people asking us about the it is a smoking. It is very important to mention that regarding to the obligatory precaution, a person who is observing fast should not allow the smoke of cigarette, tobacco, and other similar things to reach his throat. But there are some other conditions that does not make our fast to be invalid. The first step, if we are quite sure that when we are in a place and it is dusty, but we think that it does not come to our throat, so it does not make our fast to be invalid. Another condition is if a person forgot that he is fasting and does not exercise care about it, and he starts to smoking or something like this, so it does not harm his fasting. The third condition, if dust or any other similar thing enter his throat, but invol involuntary. All these things make his fast not to be invalid. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.